Hello, now I'll discuss about the surface anatomy of the popliteal artery. How can you draw a popliteal artery on our body or on your patient's body? Okay, so we have identifying points or surface markings. Surface markings. What are the surface marking points? Okay, first point is about 2.5 centimeter medial to the midpoint to the midpoint of a transverse plane let's say transverse line at the junction between the upper two third and lower one third of the thigh of the back of the thigh of the back of the thigh okay we got one point here then we'll go to the second point second surface marking point is okay okay midpoint at the back of the knee back of the knee okay we got the midpoint at the back of the knee so suppose this is the midpoint this is one point okay or uh, this is one point here here another point is here the point one is here point two is here okay another one the third point should be number three the third point should be at the at the upper part of the part of the back of the leg opposite jet the center of the tibial diversity okay so we got another point here it should be at the back of the tibial diversity we have tibial diversity here tibial diversity here so another point so if we draw this point we we'll get the popliteal artery so we have three surface marking point to draw a popliteal artery popliteal artery is a branch of the femoral artery it enters the popliteal fossa through the adductor hiatus there is a gap in the insertion of the adductor magnus it is the deepest structure okay among the neurovascular bundle on the back of the knee in the popliteal fossa and at the level of the lower border of the popliteus it is divided into two the anterior tibial artery and posterior tibial artery it has five genicular branches 
लाइक अपर मीडियल जेनिकुलर ब्रांच अपर लेटरल जेनिकुलर ब्रांच मिडल जेनिकुलर ब्रांच लोअर लेटरल जेनिकुलर ब्रांच लोअर मीडियल जेनिकुलर ब्रांच इट हेज मास्कुलर ब्रांचेस एंड क्यूटिनियस ब्रांचेस सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द सरफेस एनाटोमी ऑफ द पोपलिटियल आर्टरी हैव ए नाइस डे बाय नाउ